Sifting through ancient remains, archaeologists have been scrabbling in the French summer heat looking for clues to our own history. And they've discovered that the very first modern humans to have arrived in Western Europe came thousands of years earlier than previously thought. We are now able to demonstrate that Homo sapiens arrived 12,000 years before expected. And this population were then replaced after that by other Neanderthal populations. And this rewrite literally all our books of history. Neanderthals had been living in Europe for hundreds of thousands of years. The current theory is that Homo sapiens arrived from Africa around 42,000 years ago. And shortly after that, the Neanderthals went extinct. But now it appears that some of our species arrived 54,000 years ago. That's thousands of years earlier, and it means both Homo sapiens and Neanderthals may have lived on the same continent for much, much longer than previously thought, before modern humans eventually gained the upper hand. Scientists have been studying fossils for more than 100 years to find out why Neanderthals went extinct and we survived. Until now, the view was that we came along and quickly overwhelmed them. But the new evidence suggests that the two species lived in Europe for thousands of years, suggesting that the relationship wasn't that brutal and there were more complex reasons for why the Neanderthals died out. Well, the Neanderthals got these typical Neanderthal features, a longer lower brain case, big brow ridge over the eyes. The interaction of the two species, published in the journal Science Advances, are an important part of our own history. It wasn't an overnight takeover by modern humans. So in some cases, Neanderthals had the advantage. At other times, modern humans had the advantage. So it was more finely balanced. Was there a single thing that uh, our species had that meant that the Neanderthals didn't survive? We don't know the answer, but I think it's organisational, probably more than anything, that we were networking better, uh, our social groups were larger, uh, we were storing knowledge better, and we built on that knowledge more effectively than the Neanderthals were doing. The discovery that the two species could have coexisted for thousands of years means that scientists will have to develop new theories for why Neanderthals died out and our kind survived. Palab Ghosh, BBC News.